midst of the Allegheny's rolling slopes lies the great state of Ohio. Columbus, her capital and almost her geographical heart, typifies the spirit that is Ohio. That proudly progressive spirit found everywhere in her broad domain. Jewel city of the green Scioto Valley, Columbus has been the state capital since the War of 1812. Ohio State University, established in 1873, is a familiar part of the Columbus scene and a solid cornerstone of culture and the democratic way of life. This mammoth stadium, dedicated to collegiate sportdom, rises in tiers of concrete above the nearby campus. In autumn's golden sparkle, King Football draws Ohio's teeming thousands to the playing fields of colorful Columbus. When the Buckeyes are battling for gridiron glory, the old hometown turns out in force for the Big Ten Titanic. The State Fair is another Columbus tradition, close to the heart of Ohio. Every fair has its fun zone, and here the fun's in full swing. 4-H Club youngsters display their prized livestock, the blue ribbon royalty of Ohio's own famous green pastures. Cleveland, the state's largest city, flings its soaring towers into the blue Lake Erie sky. Queen of the inland waters, this thriving terminal of trade and transportation is one of the nation's great manufacturing centers. Cleveland's downtown traffic pours its streaming tides through well-planned modern thoroughfares. The teeming life of this Ohio big town reflecting its steady growth and prosperity. Built on Lake Erie's southern shores, today's Cleveland typifies America at its best. Steel, fabulous stepchild of the Earth's iron ore, bulwarks the Cleveland economy. This brawny young metropolitan giant is the world's greatest iron ore port. The lake freighters bringing their cargoes from far harbors to feed the hungry fires of the steel mill. Here at the mouth of the Cuyahoga River, dock the great iron ore carriers of the lakes, bringing their tons of mineral cargo from the mines of northern Minnesota. Modern methods and modern equipment unloading the tons of raw materials that go to build the mighty sinews of Cleveland's varied and enterprising industry. Ohio has many famous native sons. Among them, Thomas A. Edison. Today, Edison's genius is appropriately reflected by the world's largest light bulb, here shown in Cleveland's General Electric Lighting Institute. In striking contrast is the world's smallest bulb. The Wright brothers were also native Ohioans. Their own creative genius later immortalized by that first unforgettable flight at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina in 1903. These pioneers of yesterday might well marvel at a stirring spectacle of today. The Cleveland Air Races, that annual sky carnival of the age of flight, which has become an Ohio tradition. From the flashing formations of the nation's high-flying battle squadrons to the whistling lightning of the supersonic jets, man has mastered the mysterious altitudes of the upper air. Ohio can well be proud of Wilbur and Orville Wright, whose long-ago dream has become an everyday reality. The sun-swept beaches of Cleveland's lakefront shore provide this summertime setting. Here, her busy citizens take time out for relaxation. It's a healthy atmosphere where young and old enjoy their fun in the sun. Lake Erie's Admiral Perry Monument recalls his famous victory message. We have met the enemy and they are ours. Ohio deserves the name Mother of Presidents. At Canton stands McKinley's tomb. Other illustrious sons are Grant, Hayes, Garfield, Harrison, Taft, and Harding. Youngstown, built along the Mahoning River Valley, is a typical bustling Ohio metropolis. The steel milled along the Mahoning makes this area one of the most productive in the entire world. Youngstown measures its way of life with a steel yardstick, its prosperity by thousands of tons of molten metal. Here, indeed, are manpower and modern manufacturing methods at their productive best. 
forging in crucibles of red-hot fire, the great ingots that go to make the nation's products, her tools and her weapons, her industry and her might. Now the city is Toledo, on the westernmost tip of Lake Erie. A thriving metropolis, Toledo is one of the world's greatest glass processing centers. Here, an ancient art, glass blowing, is still practiced with but few modern variations. Here are contrived the diversified and beautiful masterpieces that grace the nation's homes and tables and the receptacles that serve a thousand industrial uses. The glassware of Toledo, just another fascinating chapter in the fascinating story that is Ohio. In Akron, the state's fifth largest city, that story deals primarily with rubber and the some 32,000 different rubber products of her humming factory. Akron is the rubber manufacturing capital of the nation and the world. Her very name is synonymous with rubber. From tires and tubes to rubber heels and hip boots, the torrential tide of products flows to the far-flung markets of the earth. Rubber is to Akron what salt is to the sea. She's impregnated with it. Coal mining in Ohio is another extensive occupation for which this state of many occupations is noted. In the southeastern part, coal remains a major commodity, ranking first among Ohio's mineral products. Here, strip mining is the process, with the shovel gouging the ore from an open pit. But no matter what the method, Ohio annually produces millions of tons of coal, much of it for her own mills and factories. Cincinnati, Queen City on the mighty Ohio River, and southern citadel of the state, has its own exciting story. Ohio's second metropolis, colorful Cincinnati is also noted for her thriving industry. Industries such as soap, which this Ohio city produces in vast and variegated quantities. A civic landmark is Cincinnati's Union Terminal, hub of her rail traffic. Such is the fascinating and storied Buckeye State, named for the broad and romantic Ohio, where the steady hum and hammer of heavy industry have replaced the old-time blacksmith's ringing anvil. Where the variegated products of an enterprising people are made and marketed for the world. Where the harvest of the fertile farmlands keeps its everlasting promise, and the wide green pastures make their own painted paradise where the thundering steel mills pouring out their great metallic tonnages rise along the Mahoning River Valley and their soaring stacks make a smoking majesty of the sky. Such is beautiful Ohio, where once the roaming Indian had his happy hunting ground, where today majestic river boats ride the teeming waters. Ohio, the great Buckeye State, in this land of ours.